eyes closed. And as you now today at this moment, notice that your eyes close so easily. And could you let yourself be aware that when you had the thought to close your eyes, they closed. You didn't scold, promise. You just ask your eyes and they closed. Could it be that you could be in that kind of intimate relationship with all the rest of yourself? Every other part of your body. Now as your eyes are closed, let yourself be in touch with your breathing. And become aware that you have all of the machinery for processing the breathing. As it comes in, you allow it to come in. You could keep it out, but you allow it to come in. And knowing that the breath bringing in the air carries nurturance, nur nurturance to your body in the form of oxygen. Letting that oxygen through your breath fill your body. And again, let yourself be in touch with your conscious breathing. Breathing in awareness consciously. We breathe all the time, but now we're breathing consciously. And maybe we could give ourselves a promise at this moment that at any time we feel like it, during the day or evening, that we could allow ourselves to become conscious of our breathing. It will alert us to the fact that we are alive beings, capable of growth, capable of love and loving. And now, eyes are closed, in touch with your breathing, your body is comfortable, your mind is alert. Let yourself move into that sacred place within yourself where you keep the treasure that is called by your name. And as you approach that sacred place, will you notice your resources, your ability to see and hear and touch and taste and smell? to feel and to think, to move and to speak. And above all, to choose, to choose out of all of that at a moment in time what you have. Choose what fits you well. And as you notice of all the things that you have, There may be some things that you haven't used in a long time. Certain abilities that you would like to transform and not have in their raw state. But you can look at those. Thank them for what they have done and give them the courage to transform into something else. you were by your place of your treasure. Would you give yourself the awareness of how much you have seen and heard and touched and felt and spoken and how much more there is to be yet experienced by you? And as you are here still at the place of your sacred treasure house, could you give yourself a message of appreciation for you? For you and your willingness to move forward, to look at all your joys and pleasures, to become more aware of all your resources, 
And as you think of yourself as a growing, moving being, letting things move past when they are no longer necessary, adding the things that you would like and need as you need them, giving yourself the courage and the support to move in those times of limbo when the new forms have not yet been fully integrated into you. When the new understandings and the new awarenesses have not yet become a part of you, can you give yourself support during the waiting period? And could you let yourself know that you are always in a place where you have access to the energy from the center of the earth as it moves from that center upward through your feet and legs, giving you the energy of groundedness, your ability to be practical, to be realistic, and to be also in touch with the energy from the heavens, which move down through your head and face and neck and arms, bringing with it your energy of inspiration, of sensing, of imagination, of creativeness. And feeling that energy of inspiration, joining with the energy of groundedness, and creating still a third energy energy of being able through your hands and arms to be in contact with your fellow beings the energy of connectedness with your fellow beings thus always you have then access to the energy of the center of the earth and from the heavens and when you are in the presence of other people or in the presence of the memory of other people, you can have the energy of connectedness. As a connectedness with other beings. So we all have three energies available to us. The energy of groundedness from the center of the earth, the energy of inspiration and imagination from the heaven, and the energy coming from connectedness with other fellow beings and fellow S beings, other human beings. We are never without this energy. It only remains for us to be in touch. Now as we come to the end, for some of you here of four days together and some of you for two days together, and variations thereof. I would simply like to share with you my gratitude for your willingness to come and the trustingness of you to allow yourself to take risks as you have done so beautifully during this seminar. I wish you all very well and I particularly wish for new involvements with the Pears Foundation. In this world, we need to know so much more about how to make things work. And when we have as much information for how to make things work and how to create joy, as we now know about how things don't work and how misery comes, I think we will have created a new balance. And I leave this seminar with the feeling, the confidence that all of you know more about how to make things work, the beautiful human possibilities that we all have. Take a moment to listen to the music. Think about yourself during the day, in the days to come. You will give yourself time 
to listen to the music of yourself as well as the music outside yourself. The music of other human beings as well as what they might provide for you. Tuning our instruments to hear beyond the surface yields a great new view of ourselves and other people. So again, being in touch with our sense of worth, our feeling of appreciation about ourselves, and perhaps our willingness to stand before the mirror to bow three times and to know the world is a better place because we are here. With that thought, we can very gently let our beautiful eyes open, looking around, feeling ourselves, giving new hope and energy 